The only thing I'm going to do here um, is to cover a topic that came up often in testing about the need to trim the airplane. The flight dynamics uh, have been created based on uh, actual flight time and full motion simulators at a major airline at their training facility. Uh, we underwent uh, the proficiency training and proficiency check along with the uh, 767 captains. The airline was extremely nice to allow us to take part in this, uh, to go through the exams and go through the various scenarios with the captains in the full motion simulator as well as flying the full motion simulator. So, as with all airplanes, trim is known as the poor man's autopilot. Uh, pilot should be able to fly the airplane hands-on without the autopilot, without the FNC, FMS, or anything else for that matter. Uh, just like flying any airplane from a 767 on down to a Piper Warrior, uh, you need to understand the concept of trim. Trim has not really been introduced into a lot of flight dynamics recently uh, until now. For simplified version for this 767 for takeoff, the typical trim is actually about 2.8 degrees nose down and this is listed in our documentation. We strongly suggest, suggest that sim pilots actually set their elevator up down trim and aileron left right wing down trim on their flight stick or their yokes. The 767 trim controls are located here on the yoke where the left and right elevators are separated, which can be simply adjusted by pushing your thumb. So you'll notice that as we're flying, you'll see various movements coming from the yoke, which indicates that I'm putting pressure uh, forward, backwards on the yoke, turning left or right. But once you're actually up in flight, you should be able to fly the airplane straight and level without the need to touch anything. The airplane should be trimmed out for whatever phase of flight that you're in. In this case, with our FMS or FM, FMS light, uh, the V speeds have already been calculated for us with V1, VR, and V2. It is 143, 148, and 156. And this is a this is a fine number for us to uh, for us to work with today. The uh, gross weight of the airplane is roughly about 320,000 pounds. Now, the approach that I'm going to fly without using the autopilot is the ILS runway 22 left approach into uh, Edwards Air Force Base. Right, we're going to climb up to uh, 7,400 feet, level off. We'll go ahead and make our right turn back towards the 15 mile DME uh, for Edwards. Now one thing I want to highlight uh, with the 767 as with, with almost all, every aircraft, especially large transport aircraft, Typically, your field of vision is here over the glare shield at the runway, and typically what's happening is you are looking up at the runway and you're glancing down at your instruments, up at the runway and down at your instruments. So in this particular case, the, uh, I will fly the airplane as much as possible, uh, basically simply looking out the window, almost flying, not quite VFR, but we will uh, trim the airplane and fly uh, the entire machine. Right. So, go ahead and release brakes. Checking our engine speed, going up to 92% in one. Air speed's active. 80 knots. nice and smooth. Go to about 8 degrees of nose up because you want to avoid uh, tail strike. Once you have passed that, go to 15, 20 degrees nose up. You also want to put the gear up once you have positive rate of climb. Okay, now you're noticing here that I'm actually keeping pressure on the yoke, back pressure on the yoke to maintain 15 degrees. However, as I trim the airplane, I should be able to, and again, you don't want the nose to drop, 
But once you, once you trim the airplane to where you want it to be, you should be able to completely let go of the yoke. Now you're noticing I'm not actually doing anything to the yoke here. But as you can see, we're approaching 7,400 feet. pushing back and forth on the yoke, making abrupt movements. Instead, what you're doing is you're trimming the aircraft. You're trimming the aircraft with minor corrections to hold the altitude that you want. All right, so now that we're at 7,400 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and make a 180 degree turn all the way around so that we can reverse our course. to 10,000 and level the nose, again using only the trim. 